but right now I do have Invisalign in, which I just got yesterday. And I'm gonna take them out for two different reasons. One, because I'm about to eat, and two, which I'll explain to you guys in one second. So I just took my Invisalign out and I pretty much decided that if I'm filming a YouTube video or at some sort of event with like Gymshark or doing a photo shoot, modeling, whatever it may be, anything along the lines of that, I'm just not gonna be wearing my Invisalign because I just think it looks bad. And it's not that big of a deal if I just don't wear it for a day. So yeah, I just took those out. And for breakfast, I have four eggs and just this cup of black coffee I'm about to have. But today is a special day because I'm going for 600 for reps on deadlift and 605 is my current max right now. But I've been getting really strong lately. I pulled 585 for three exactly a week ago. And I did that after skiing and everything, not in optimal circumstances. So tried to do everything as optimized as I could. I drank a ton of water yesterday. I had like almost, I think probably 10 of these since 8 p.m. last night. And that's 24 ounces of water, I believe. Damn, so that's what, 240 ounces of water? I don't know how much that is. Also, two nights ago, I got woken up at 7 a.m. I only got five hours of sleep, and that's because there was a bunch of people working on our house. They're doing like painting, like fixing up a bunch of shit, and they were like slamming ladders around and everything. So last night, I actually went downstairs. I put a mattress underneath my stairs in my basement because I was like, if I'm gonna pull 600 for reps or go super heavy on deadlifts, I'm gonna need over eight hours of sleep. So posted up the mattress in the fucking basement and ended up getting a solid nine hours of sleep, like dreaming the whole time. I took a little bit of melatonin for the first time in a little while. So yeah, everything's pretty good. I'm gonna try to eat an extra meal before I go to the gym, maybe train a little bit later today. So hopefully I can pull this and hit this massive deadlift. <laughs> Basically, after eating breakfast every single day, I've been doing a little bit of stretching, foam rolling, using the Theragun on my teardrops and quads. And static stretching can be bad before lifting because it can rip down the muscle fibers a little bit and make you weaker. But if you're just doing a little bit of stretching, it's gonna help you get into a better position, feel better when you get into the gym. And it's really not gonna make much of a difference and I don't really think it's gonna make you weaker. So I'm just also trying to get more flexible overall. So I'm about to do some foam rolling, stretch out, then I'll probably go chill for a few hours, maybe ice my knee because it is a little bit swollen. And then I'll eat another meal and start getting ready for the gym. DJI Mavic Pro 3 that just came out like a month ago, I think. Gotta get a picture of this thing first. I'm so bad at opening shit, it's crazy. All right, before I open this, the previous drone I've had like the past three years is the DJI Mini 2, which is basically the cheapest drone on the entire market. It's like the worst drone you can get. And I think it's broken right now. I got like sand in the motors and stuff when I was shooting in some sand dunes. And I just like made this purchase, pretty much spent all my money to get this drone right here. 
and it has three different lenses so I can get like zoomed in shots and everything and I'm just so hyped to use this thing so let's check it out holy fuck this thing's a unit holy shit I'm literally used to the mini drone which is the size of my hand this thing is absolutely insane holy shit Devin come look at this thing what? The thing's a fucking unit, dude. Holy shit. Oh my god, look at this thing. Has the three lenses on it. I'm probably gonna drive down to Denver and get some insane shots of the city and everything in this. So the next video you guys are gonna see from me is probably just gonna be like a one hour long drone edit, but it is what it is, cause look at this thing. Dude, I'm so scared to fly this thing. I'm like gonna be so careful with this because I'm not gonna risk crashing this. All right, I'm probably gonna spend the next hour getting this thing like all set up, start charging everything up and watch a few videos, figure out how to use this thing. I'm just so hyped to shoot log on this so I can color grade it insane. And the zoom lens is gonna be absolutely crazy. So yeah, about to start setting everything up. This is the secret PR stash. Where is it actually? Whoa, what's that? We can't show them. We're not gonna show them what it is. Secret. That's what you're saying, right? I don't fuck. I haven't heard that shit. Looking skinny, man. So today for the PR stack, we're doing two of these DMAA pills, which have. I believe it's 150 caffeine, yeah, 250 for two of these. So I guess I'm gonna do two because I never do DMAA. And yeah, this isn't something you wanna be taking frequently. Like this is literally just a PR stack, which I do once a month, once every two months. So yeah, I'm about to do two of these. Pick them right now. Need water. One second. Oh, fuck. Water required. Just walked into a chair. Holy shit, man. We're gonna be feeling fucked. Fucking crazy. You take them? Yeah, man. Oh. Now, what? Now I'll just do one scoop before you. That's 450. That's perfect. That's yeah. not too high. Not, not a crazy dose. Like, I'm not doing anything like too insane. You're so. gonna feel good. I'm just gonna do two scoops of Stim Free. Black Cherry right for here. Today. Buddy's gonna get a camera pump with his fucking. Story. I am. I've been doing. Two, I've been doing two scoops of uh, stim free. And then I guess every we'll day. Some stim free. Yeah. Just a, get a good pump. Just a nice little scoop. If you want to. Oh my god, dude! If you want to get, if you want to acquire some natural berries and black cherry euphoria have some in your possession to be taking on a PR day, then you can use code TWINS to get 10, 15, 15% off. off. Fuck it up every time. You don't do 10%, they get nice little 15% off with code TWINS. Hey, we just have one semi-crucial problem, and that is the fact that my AirPods are dead, but I'm trying to charge them up right now. Not sure if this thing's even working, because it's not lighting up, but. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Do you have yours? No, well, you should have asked him to grab them. Fuck, dude. Got some one three had no vascularity. I just pulled up, came straight into the gym, put a plate on, and I just pulled it for a few reps, conventional and sumo, and I literally said I can guarantee 600 for three because I feel so good, so I just did a little dumbbell warm up and did some light stretching. Now we're gonna hop in to this fucking demo session. I'm hyped, let's go. You're going to love this. Trust me, what you're seeing now is my normal state. This is a super saiyan. This is what is known as a Super Saiyan that is ascended past a Super Saiyan. Or, you could just call this a Super Saiyan 
Nice, clean, literally 600 for 3 PR, then 640. So I'm probably gonna drop down, try to do back offsets, still keep building, not fucking kill myself. So, how much you want? I don't know. Five. Okay, that was definitely one of the craziest deadlift sessions of my life, if not the craziest. And I pulled 500 for five after. I was gonna do like 10, maybe even 12 reps. But on the fifth, I kind of like hyper extended my back on the top and it tweaked out a little bit. So I just called it there, playing it safe. I pushed it really hard today, went super heavy. So I'm gonna go into some back hypertrophy. I'm so stimmed up right now. I need to get all this energy out or I'm not gonna sleep for like a month and a half. So yeah, get some good back hypertrophy in, and I'll probably get an insane pump. So about to do maybe some weight to pull up or a lot of
just finished up that push or fucking what the fuck that pull day and that was one of the craziest workouts I've ever had insane deadlift PR 600 triple and then to pull 640 easy after that is absolutely absurd so 655 I'm gonna wait until I can pull it at least as clean as that 640 which I know I can do fresh in a few weeks so hopefully I can get that done and then I ended up going really hard on hypertrophy so that was just a really good workout altogether about to go home eat some food recover from that and yeah I'm just so happy that literally couldn't have gone any better a lot of the time I'll try to optimize everything like I just did like my sleep water food all these things and it ends up not helping at all and I'm super weak but everything paid off today and lined up perfectly and I just couldn't be more satisfied about it so let's go baby what are you grilling up some burgers